we're going to talk about naming lines and also the kind of markings we make on lines to indicate certain properties. So let's start by looking at lines that are perpendicular. What does it mean for lines to be perpendicular? Lines are perpendicular when they cross at 90 degrees. So how are we indicating that these lines are perpendicular? Well, we've got a 90 degree, a right angle over here. And that means that we can say that line AC is perpendicular to BD. But we can also think about the line segment BC as also being perpendicular to BD. So two ways that we can say this. Parallel lines, how do we indicate that lines are parallel? And what is parallel? Well, lines are parallel if they remain the same distance apart from each other always. So where do we see that? How do we indicate it? We indicate it with these little arrows. So if we've got one little arrow on each of the lines, that indicates that those two lines are parallel to each other. And we write it in this way, AB is parallel to CD. How do we indicate two lines are equal? We put these little dashes on the line like that, and we write that AD is equal to DC. Now let's look at a nice big complicated drawing and see the kind of things that we can say out of this. So first start by noticing we've got a 90 degree angle over there, and so we can say that QP is, per is perpendicular to PD. And we could also say that QP is perpendicular to CD. Have a look at this. Now here we've got the arrows. When we had parallel before we just had one arrow, but it, we can equally, equally well have two arrows or three arrows. All of those indicate that the lines are parallel. So these two lines are parallel to each other. So we could say EH is parallel to JN, but have a look, we could equally well here say that EG is parallel to KN. Now if you have a look over here, look at these lines AB and CD. They really do look like they remain the same distance apart. So it's very tempting for us to write AB is parallel to CD. But when we actually start working properly with geometry, we cannot assume that they actually are parallel unless those markings have been put on them. Because they might be almost parallel, but not quite. And you can't really see that with your eye. So we say in geometry, we have to have the marking there for us to believe it. So I cannot make the statement that AB is parallel to CD. It might be, but we don't know for sure. It might not be. And so if your drawing does not have those little arrows marking, indicating that you've got parallel lines, you cannot assume that they are parallel. Here, have a look. You do have markings. You've got the little dashes on. These show that you've got equal lines. And so we've got here that NP is equal to PQ. Now just pay attention to that point F. Look at what F is. It's at the point where two lines cross. And how do we say that? We say that EH, the line EH, intersects the line CD at point F.